So you're a high school football running back and you want to play at the next level. Today we're going to talk about the five things you need to show on your highlight video if you want college scouts to take a look at you. Today on the Gridiron Stud Show. Hey, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Recruiting advice for everyone. It's the Gridiron Stud Show. Well, running back is definitely a marquee position. Back in my day, it used to be the marquee position, but I would say nowadays wide receiver has really come up in the last decade. Nevertheless, running backs handle the football, they score touchdowns, and so, yes, it is a marquee position. And I totally understand you wanting to play it at the next level. But if you're going to play college football and you're going to be a running back, there are definitely some traits you're going to need to have and you're going to need to show on your highlight video if you want the college scouts to offer you those scholarships. So, the number one thing that you're going to need to show on your highlight video is speed. You know, speed kills. And there's nothing like seeing a running back hit that hole fast, get into the secondary, and outrun everybody. Everyone's always looking for speed. On top of height and size, speed is that thing that guys really need. And running back is no different. There's nothing like having a running back that can hit a home run and take a ball 60, 70, 80 yards. It changes the way the defense has to play. It can change the complexion of the game and really turn the tide in your favor. When you have a running back in the backfield that can score from anywhere on the field, well, your offense is just that much dangerous. Because as I said, the defense has to really pay attention to how they're playing you. You can't have two safeties back all the time. You got to put an extra guy in the box. And once you do that, now there's opportunities to make explosive plays in a pass game. So that's why having a running back with speed is very, very valuable. So if you are one of those running backs with speed and you have plays Within your library of plays during the season, it's best for you to even lead off your highlight video with plays where you are showing speed. Don't tuck that 60 or 70 yard run way back into your highlight video. If you've got long plays, plays over 40, 50, 60 yards, you wanna get those in there as much as possible to the front of your highlight video because you definitely wanna display that you are a speed back. That's going to attract a lot of college football coaches. Speed is something that Many coaches feel they can't really teach once you get to the college level. I might disagree with that because there are really some very good strength and conditioning programs out there. But there's nothing like having natural speed for that strength and conditioning coach to be able to build on. So if you have that natural speed, definitely something you want to show because it's something that will jump out on film rather quickly when they're watching film. One of the fastest ways to stand out on film is to be moving faster than everyone else. So if you have the ability to take a handoff or a toss play and go the length of the field and outrun everybody, you definitely wanna show that on your highlight video sooner rather than later. The number two thing you're really gonna to need to show, and every running back should have this. Maybe you don't have speed, or maybe you don't have some of the other attributes that people like to see in running backs. No running back is going to last very long if he doesn't have vision. So vision is number two on this list of things you're gonna to need to show in your highlight video. So first of all, let's talk about how you would show your vision. Cutback runs, um, runs where you've made some good cuts off of a block down the field, um, or just being able to see the alley in a hole and turn up in it. Those type of plays will really display your vision. And that's something that any running back coach at the college level knows you gotta have. And the better the vision, the better the running back. In some cases, I would prefer a guy with better vision over a guy with just full out track speed. Sometimes a guy with track speed will just run right into the back of his blockers or he will be moving too fast and can't make a cut. A guy with good vision is going to be able to see the whole field. He's going to see the flow of the defense and be able to cut back and find alleys because sometimes the blocking is not always right where it's designed to be. We've all seen plays in a playbook. And if you've been a running back, you know that the hole's not always exactly where it is. So when that hole is not where it's supposed to be and it's clogged up, it's excellent for you to have vision to see where the other holes may have opened up and be able to put your foot in the ground and cut into whatever direction that needs to be. So I also tie vision in with your cutting ability. Having that vision better coincide with you being able to put your foot in the ground and go. And what I've noticed with running backs that I've looked at over time, and I was a running back in high school, when you have that vision, usually you have that cutting ability to go with it. Because if you're gonna show your vision, then you obviously have the cutting ability to go there. So those two things go hand in hand. So I'm not gonna separate the two. 
but you definitely need to show your vision. It's not gonna be a good thing if you continuously run into blocks, run head on into tacklers, and you don't really see the alleys and where they need to go. Part of being an explosive back and being able to get some of those home run, um, those home run runs, those long runs that I've talked about uh, with speed, is being able to have the vision to see the holes open up. And if you've been a running back, you know everything's moving at lightning quick speed. You're really just seeing colors out there or you're seeing openings. And the better you are, the better vision you have, the more you can see the field, the whole picture as you're running the ball, the better off you are going to be at the next level because things are going to definitely get harder. The, def uh, the defenses are going to be faster. They're going to be closing in you a whole lot faster than they did in high school. So having that vision is going to be an excellent thing. You definitely want to include that in your first 10 plays or the first two minutes of your highlight video. Now we're on to number three, but before we do that, do me a favor. If you like these videos and you like this channel, go ahead and subscribe, give this video a like, and feel free to share it to any of your running back friends out there so that they can crank out some long runs and get some attention from college football scouts, coaches, etc., etc. But now on to number three. We have speed, we have vision. What else do we need if we're a running back? You guessed it right, strength. Got to be strong out there. Now, there have been smaller running backs that have made it through the college ranks and have uh, made it into the NFL, but there are far more who have failed. And I'm not necessarily saying you have to have size. Definitely great to have it. Think of some of your best backs throughout the game of football. They've all had some kind of size to them, but it's strength that I'm talking about. Because listen, no one gets hit more than a running back. And you're going to have defenders coming at you left and right. It's good for you to have the leg strength to carry out a run once contact has been made or be able to issue a stiff arm or just be able to handle two or three guys on you and get extra yards for your team. You're definitely going to find yourself in those situations. I don't care if you're a little back, a scat back, a big back, a full back, whatever running back you are, when they give you that football, guys are going to come after you. That's just the nature of the game. And it's great to be one of those guys who doesn't go down the moment he's touched. One of the stats that have come out over the years because we all have analytics now, is yards after contact. That's a big thing that they look at at all the next two levels above you, college and, NF and uh, at the NFL level. You gotta have, um, you gotta be able to get yards after contact. So if you can show that anywhere on your film where you got hit, maybe you even got hit in the backfield and it was a five yard run. To you and to the common fan, it doesn't seem very, very spectacular. But if you got hit in the backfield and you somehow managed to get out of a tackle or carry some tacklers ahead for three, four, or five yards, at the end of the day, it was just a five-yard run, but you are displaying your ability, uh, your strength abilities, your ability to break tackles, carry tacklers, finish off runs, because if you have that kind of running back in the backfield, and we all know who Derrick Henry is, right? If you have that kind of running back on your football team, it's a kind of guy that you can close out games with. If the, if the coach knows that I can turn around and hand the, ball this, hand the ball to this running back and he can get four or five yards a pop, even when the defense is ganged up on him, then that's very, very valuable. Because when you have a 10, 14 point lead late in the game, it's good to have that kind of running back to turn around and hand the ball to, or even throw out in the open field and make a guy uh, miss, run through a tackle and get extra yards. It's an excellent thing to have. So. If you're not strong, get stronger. And if you are strong and you have those kind of clips in your library, definitely include them in that first 10 or the first two minutes of your highlight video because being strong is the essence of being a running back. Because once again, you guys get hit a lot. Now we're on to number four. And you've heard me say it a lot. This football has turned into a passing game. And that's for the running backs too. So hands is something you definitely want, you're gonna to wanna to show as a running back on your highlight video. Everyone's throwing the ball around these days. The only people who aren't doing that are the service academies. Army, Air Force, Navy, those people aren't really throwing the ball around yet. Mostly everyone else has found a passing game and they want their running backs to contribute in that. Let me just put it to you this way. If you're a guy that can't catch, but you wanna be a running back, if you happen to make it, the only way you're gonna get that ball is being is with the handoffs. And once the defense knows that, they're gonna be able to just really close in, hone in on where you are, and you're just gonna take that many more hits. The big thing now is just having a guy that's multiple. The Alvin Kamara types are really what a lot of coaches are looking for because 
the game today is passing. So anything where you can show yourself coming out of the backfield or even lining up in a slot or lining up out wide as a wide receiver, that's definitely a plus because everyone wants to figure out ways to get the ball down the field from the hands of the quarterback. And if you're a guy who could line up wide, line up in a slot, run a nice route, get open and catch the football consistently, then that's uh, just another bonus for you. It's another way to stay out on the field. It's another way to help your football team and make your offense more explosive. So on top of having those nice runs where you traditionally get the football with a handoff and a toss and things of that nature, being able to come out of the backfield, turn around, make a catch or go out and run routes and break a, run, a linebacker off or maybe even a defensive back off and catch a pass, that's going to be a great thing for you. Think about some of the running backs that are out there. And matter of fact, this is a good time to tell you guys, drop in the comments for me who your favorite running back is. Is it Alvin Kamara? Is it Dalvin Cook? Is it a Derrick Henry type? Drop a comment in, down in the comments below. Let me know who your favorite running back is. More than likely, he's a guy that can catch the ball out of the backfield. There's only one guy that I just named in those trio that doesn't really catch the football like that. And he happens to be a monster 250 pound back. If you're big like that, then maybe you can get away with not really catching the football. They are going to put a saddle on you and make you run that ball 30, 35, and 40 times. And if you're cool with that, fine. But if you're not, and you happen to be a little bit on the smaller side, like below 200 pounds, you definitely want to be a guy who can catch the football out of the backfield because it's going to be difficult for you at 185, 190 pounds to get that football as much as you think you should if you can't also catch it out of the backfield or out in some open space. It's all about space these days. Coaches are trying to get guys out in space, and if you're a guy who can do that and catch a ball in space, as well as carry, carrying the ball in the backfield, definitely a plus for you. And finally, number five, block. Yeah, that's not fun, but one way or another, as a running back, you're going to block. You could sit there and say, well, I'm not a fullback. That's fine. You don't have to be a fullback. But halfback's got to block too. When there's time to throw the football and the other team wants to bring blitzes or they want to bring an extra rusher, guess what, running back? You're going to have to stay in there and block. So if you can show your ability to block, t uh, pick up a blitz, uh, block on the edge, or even block for a nothing running back, or maybe you're in, you're in an offense where your quarterback also runs the football, that means you need to block. Anything that shows your toughness or your ability to take a defender, block him, get him out of the way, or even put them on the ground is definitely a plus for you. As a running back, you wanna be on that field as much as possible, right? So if you can run the ball, you can catch the football, and then you can also block, there's really no reason to take you off the field, right? It can get a little frustrating to have to pull you off on first and second down, or pull you off, or pull you off the field on third down because there's something in your game that you're just not very good at. You should strive as a running back to be an all around running back. You can catch, you can run, and you can block. The best running backs of all time have been able to do all three of those things fairly well. All right, so don't forget to show those clips in your highlight video where you are blocking. Most likely, if you're the key running back on your team, that's gonna be during pass plays. You don't wanna look inept. Uh, you don't wanna to get to the next level and you're at a team that likes to throw the football and they can't trust to put you in the game to block for your quarterback. You know what that means? The only time they're bringing you in is when you are running the ball and the defense is gonna to start to know that. When this guy's in the game, he's getting the football, they don't trust him to block, it's gonna make it more difficult for you to get yards. So while you're making your highlight video and you've got all the spectacular runs and you've caught some passes out of the backfield and you've showed yourself to be explosive, don't forget to add some clips in there where you block. It might be the difference between a school getting more interested in you than over another guy in which y'all were pretty close in everything else. If you can block and he can't, hey, they're gonna take interest in you over him because that was the tiebreaker. So don't forget that part. You wanna throw something in there where you're blocking. All right, so I think the whole moral of the story here and in conclusion, I think you wanna show yourself to be a total back. Speed helps, being able to cut and have vision, definitely great. Being strong, that's definitely a plus. Be able to get those extra yards. You definitely want to be able to show some hands out of the backfield because it's a passing game now. And don't forget to show that you are willing and able to block. You're a complete running back. That's definitely going to help you at the next level. If you have all those clips in your library right now, you've got to get 
All of what I just said within the first two minutes of your highlight video because guys, you don't wanna take any chances that that coach is gonna watch beyond a minute 30 or two minutes of your highlight video. I can't tell you how many times I've watched someone's highlight video and they've tucked a 60, 70 yard run in there. Another thing too that I may have forgotten, if you're in the return game, Another chance for you to show your speed. If you've got kickoff returns or punt returns and your team allows you to handle those duties and you've got some great returns, go ahead and include those two early on in your highlight video because it does display your speed as well as your hands. If your team trusted you to return punts and kickoffs, then that must mean you have good hands. So right off rip, it shows that. And then if you had a couple of long kickoff returns, even for touchdowns, that shows your speed as well. It really is gonna kind of show just about everything with the exception of blocking if you're in the return game. So don't forget returns, put those in your highlight video. Once again, don't forget before you leave, drop a comment in there, let me know who your favorite running back is. Could be college or pro. And then I want you to like this video, share this video, and definitely subscribe so and hit the bell so you'll be notified at the next time I put out an award-winning video like this one that helps with recruiting. I also put out defensive back stuff and a whole bunch of other things that I know you'll be interested in. So subscribe, hit the bell, and until next time, Gridiron Studs, be seen.